Hello. Hi. I look a hot mess. So hi, I'm back with another video and this video is going to be a lot different than what I usually record. I only have two other videos on this channel but I normally do vlogs. But I recently got a new bag and I wanted to do a video on it because when I was researching for this bag, literally I could not find almost no videos of this bag in this size. It was so hard to tell how big it actually was and all of that. So I'm going to go over all of that in this video and kind of show you guys what it looks like. So this is the bag I got. It is a, as you can see from the logo, it is, is a baboon to the moon bag. It, this is their small go bag. This is the um, 40 liters. So this is what it looks like next to me. I got it in the, um, I believe this is the deco white. The print on the inside is this like blue, like pretty blue color. So the reason I'm making this video is because all the videos I have seen are for the mini bag or the go bag big, the big go bag. <laughs> And not too many people have done videos on the 40 liter. And if they did, it was really hard to tell just how big it actually was. They were either like 5'2", like or they were like 5'9". And it's like, where's the middle ground? Or they're like six foot. I'm like, I need, I need better visuals. So other than that, I just wanted, I just wanted to show off my bag because I spent a lot of money on it and why not show it off? So this bag runs for, I believe, $250-ish. False. Some specs, I guess, are you have handles on every single side, so you can pick it up. However, the um, it lays flat and it opens up like a suitcase. So you can lay it flat, it opens like a suitcase. This big zipper part, when you wear it as a bet pack, it goes on your back, so you don't have to worry about it being out. It also has this side zipper. It's perfect for like, if you wanna put your passport in there or your phone or just like a pin or something, just like small things, you put chapstick in there, just to throw it in there. It has all of these, what are they called? The loops, they go all the way around. They have them on the, well, not all the way, but there's two on each, let's see if it'll focus. There's two on each top part. There are one, two, three, about six on each side. So that's really cool. And these straps can be turned from a backpack strap. It can be a crossbody, which I'll show you guys later. Um, and it can also be held like a duffel bag. On the inside, I keep opening this thing back up and closing it. On the inside, you have this big zipper compartment, which could be used for underclothes or to hold electronic. Uh, there's this inner mesh pocket you probably throw like socks or something in there. Just keep them together. There is a smaller zipper pocket that you could probably put like cords and things in or more underwear or something in here. Um, this is, like I said, this is the 40 liter bag. So there's about 40 liters of space. I am going to pack this so that we can kind of see like um, how much it can actually hold. The, the straps also have spots where you can um, hook things onto it if you need to. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to add a um, chest strap, you can add that on here pretty easily as well. Um, you could probably also add extra padding. I won't uh, lie and say like these are like super thick padding. They're pretty good, but they're not like support padding. They're not meant to be like hiking backpacks, if that makes sense. This bag is meant or on their website is said to be a carry on size backpack. So this is probably not a personal size item. Most planes, this probably won't fit under the seat. When I first saw it, I was like, oh yeah, this could fit under the seat. Now, if you don't pack it all the way, yes, it could probably fit under the seat in front of you on a plane. Um, this would also be really good for going on weekend trips. I just used this twice going to visit family. Not too bad at all. I loved it when I was using it. This is what it looks like on me. I am 5'7". This is what it looks like on me empty. It literally feels like a normal backpack, which is why I was like, maybe it could fit under a um, seat in front of you, depending on the airline. If you're flying a budget airline, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Don't even think about it. Yeah, it's comfortable. It depends on what you put on this flat part right here, like on the very top of your stuff. It, it's gonna depend on what it feels like on your back. Let's do the packing demo and I will, I'll be back.
Hi. So we're we're on the couch. Excuse the mess. So we're gonna do a packing demo now with the go bag small. So let's do weather pack. So we'll do warm weather versus cold weather packing, how much this can hold. So uh yeah, let's get packing. So first I'm going to release the straps on this so that I can just get into the bag a little bit easier for this. You do not have to take these off in order to get into the bag, but I'm just doing it because it'll just be easier. <laughs> also something I didn't mention is, mention is that these zippers, I don't know what it's called, te the technical name for it, but they cross. So you, if you want to add a lock, just remember if you're checking this bag, make sure it's TSA approved lock so that they can get in it and they don't cut your lock off. Or if you're staying in a hostel or something, you're able to lock away your things or even just to your hotel. You, you may be in, I don't know, you know, but the option is there. Let's do cold weather first because that's the most clothes that I have. I have like a pile of clothes over here that we're just going to attempt to pack in here. I personally, in clothes, I wear either around a size 8 to a 11 in pants and um, sizes medium to large in shirts. I'm 5'7". Yeah, so that's about like my body measurements kind of. So you can kind of see like the size of clothes I'm putting in here. So this is what the bag is looking like. It's pretty full, but you can still close it comfortably without having to sit on it. And luckily, because it is a duffel style, duffel bag style bag, you can just smush it around. Thermal tight. And even that, there's still space for stuff in here. I'm just being generous. Like I could probably fit here. Let's try. I could probably fit another. Let's fit another hoodie in there. This is just a what is this? This is just a a, a Nike hoodie. I just roughly fold fits right in. I have another pair of jeans here that fits too. So we can put another uh, hoodie and jeans in here. Now, of course, I'm just packing as much as I possibly can in here. But if you're actually packing, packing, um, you'll still be able to pack like toiletries, your underwear, your socks, things like that. This is what it looks like all full. As you can see, it's still pretty malleable. That's what it looks like from the side, all filled up. This is what it looks like on your back. I'll do a, a shot of me standing up in it so you can see. Let's do the uh, how to hold the bag demo part. So I have one strap already set up. So this is the crossbody configuration with the one strap. This is what this looks like on me. Once again, I am 5'7". So this is what it looks like up close. Of course, if you have a chest, it's gonna be a little awkward like most crossbody things. It's pretty comfortable. Of course, you can adjust so that it's a little bit um, tighter to you, depending on how you want it to fit. So this is what that one looks like. So this is for the duffel bag hold. So this is what this looks like. From all different directions. Of course, if you wanted, you can make this longer to do um, also crossbody like that. You can hold it like that because this is how I usually hold my duffels. This is how big it looks. It feels kind of big, but most duffel bags do when you hold them like this. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it's fully packed and it's on my bag. It's pretty comfortable. It's not too bad at all. Um, like I was saying earlier, you can add those support straps here and here. They sell them on Amazon for like 20 bucks, I think. And you just loop them in like that. You can also add extra padding if you need. Depending on how you pack this, whatever's down here is going to, you wanna put like the heaviest stuff. I wouldn't recommend putting too many heavy things in this backpack because it's not meant to be, like I said, a hiking or a trekking backpack. And these straps just aren't meant to support a lot of weight, I don't think, because of the way they sit. There's no strap part here, you can see. There's no strap part here, 
with padding. So that's gonna get really um, painful on your shoulders after a while if you pack too much stuff in here. Right now, this is the um, hot weather clothes in here, so it's not that heavy, not too heavy at all. Even with the uh, cold weather clothes, it's not that bad. It's when you start throwing things in like your laptop, shoes, all of that stuff is gonna add weight. So just be mindful of how much weight you put in there. Um, yeah, this is the, the wearing demo, so. This is what it looks like when it's full, like packed full. <laughs> so yeah, so that is cold weather. How much cold weather packing do you do? And of course, if you, like I said, if you do it a lot better than I did, you could probably fit a lot more in here. Your zip up hoodie, long sleeve dress, um, mock neck sweater, thermal leggings, Nike hoodie, two pairs of jeans, two sweaters, and five pairs of sweats. This is a lot of clothes to fit in a carry-on that are so thick. So let's try and see how much we can get in for warm weather clothing. All right, let's try and see how many our warmer weather clothes we can fit into this bag. Here in front of me, we have quite a few things. So firstly, I have this mid-length skirt that is very flowy. We have three dresses. One is a really super lightweight long sleeve, really lightweight short sleeve um, maxi dress, and a lightweight knitted dress. Alongside that we have two pairs of leggings. One is calf length and one is full to the ankle length. We have two pairs of biker shorts. We have two camisoles, which is just like tank tops. We have one lightweight cardigan, three crop topped, like crop shirts, an athletic tank top, a collared shirt, two regular t-shirts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of like leisure shorts. We also have the lightweight sweats for if it gets a little chilly at night Oop. and two nicer shirts. And also I'm gonna add in one more pair of biker shorts. Let's see if all of this fits in this bag. So, as we can see, there is still a good amount of space left in this bag. You have enough space to add if you wanted to. I have two swimsuits here. I have a regular two-piece, and I also have a much thicker one that is a long sleeve top and shorts that are double like double uh, layered shorts. You can fit these in here so comfortably still in here and not have to malute, like, ma like manipulate the bag too much. All of that can fit. That's like two weeks worth of clothes if you're a minimalist packer, you know. But like, and I can still squeeze, I can smush this down, move it around. Like it, it's it's pretty good. And here, I'll show you guys. Let me put the strap back on. This is what it looks like. Same as the uh, cold weather. Depending on how much you pack this bag, is going to depend on how bulky it is sitting outwards. Depends on how you pack it as well. So yeah, those are two packing demos for how much this bag can actually hold. I think it does pretty well for a carry-on size bag. I could pack probably for a five week trip in this bag alone as a minimalist. So I don't know, I'm sold on it. I'm glad I got it. I'm not mad at it at all. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below. Um, if you all wanna see how I pack for my trip that I'm doing in the fall, it'll be a uh, two week trip essentially. 
and I'll show you guys how I pack minimalistly. If you guys want to see that, let me know. And yeah, I really like this bag. I'm 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 happy with the purchase. I do not mind. This bag may get a little dingy, but that just means it's been on a lot of adventures. So the dirt is every speck of dirt is another adventure. I'm happy with it. I'm not mad at it. Uh I just wanted to get this video out because when I was searching about this bag, the specific size, I could find almost nothing about it. And if there's anything I missed in here that you guys would want to see, let me know and I will definitely make another video to explain that and show you guys what it is that you guys want to see because the 40 liter bag doesn't get enough coverage. Like it's either the super big one, like I said, or the super small one. A lot of people have the uh, go bag mini, which is great, but I feel like this is a really good size to have um for carry-on travel if you want something like this in this price range now i'm not going to say it's the best version of what it is but i wanted it and i've been wanting it and so i'm happy with it and i don't think i will be getting any more travel luggage but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i would love if you would subscribe but if you don't want to don't feel pressured um but yeah make sure to leave a comment down below what's your favorite travel bag um have you been looking at this bag? Are you like interested in this bag? Did I did I do a good job? I hope this video was informal. I'm sorry the setting was a little weird. I'm new to this. I hope that when I as I do more videos, it'll get better over time. But only time will tell. So yeah. thank you guys so much if you've made it this far. I, I really appreciate it. It means the world. And I hope to see you all in the next video. See ya. Bye. You want to say bye to the video? Say bye. And thank you for watching.